Hello everyone, I hope you're all doing well and that you're staying safe out there. So I have a little confession, I have a lot of art supplies, I mean a lot. I am a collector you might say, or a hoarder some other might say. But anyway, I sometimes forget that I own certain art supplies, like these ones for example. These are the Koinor Tritone color pencils. I found them under some color pencil boxes when I was working with color pencils a few weeks ago. And these are actually quite interesting because the lead is in this checkered pattern in different colors, three colors to be exact. Oh, and this set also comes with a colorless blender pencil. I think I got them in a sketchbox hundreds and hundreds of years ago. So I have obviously tested them out, but as I said, it was a long time ago, so I can't really remember what I thought about them. So why not re explore them today to find out are they any good or is it just a gimmick having all these different colors in the same pencil. I also noticed that these color pencils got some fancy names. We got Madigold, Flame, Sunset, Volcano, Evening Storm, Summer Sky, Ocean, Meadow, Forest, rainforest and tiger. Oh, I really want to draw a tiger now. But yeah, let's swatch them. And here's a little tip for you. If you have a tin case like this with these two little marks here, instead of open it like this and risk every color pencil to fall out, you can simply just push this edge and it will open for you. Ta-da! All right, so let's start with Madigold. Oh, this is pretty. You can clearly see the different colors. It is like I've been drawing with a yellow and then with a little bit of brown or beige on top of that. And then we have Flame. Oh, this is nice orange. It isn't super obvious that there is three different colors in this one, but you still get more depth in the color, I think. Then we have Sunset, and here you can see we have a little more contrast between the colors, so that will be interesting to see what that will look like. In this one you can clearly see streaks of yellow in the red. Then we have Volcano, and here we have grey mixed with the red. I'm trying to spin the pencil around so that I get every color in there. Not a huge difference from the Sunset one, it just looks a little more dirty from the grey. Then we have Evening Storm. And here we have some blue greys mixed with red. And it gives like a purpley kind of color, I really like it. Summer sky, which is just a bunch of blues. And then we have ocean, and this one have a little more contrasting blues. A nice deep blue. Then we have meadow with some greens and yellow. It definitely gives a little bit of grassy vibes. And then we have forest with three different greens. Then we have Rainforest, which is also a bunch of greens, but a little darker. And lastly, we have Tiger with some orangey tones and brown. So yeah, here we have them, and I must say that the Tritone color pencils themselves, they do actually feel pretty nice. They don't feel too waxy, they are pretty soft, but not too soft. They don't leave a lot of crumbs on the paper. In some of them, like this Evening Storm, Tiger, and the Meadow, you can clearly see that there are different colors in the pencil. I really like the ones that has more similar colors in the same pencil. It is it isn't super obvious that there is different tones, but it still gives more depth to the color itself. I think having color pencils like that can be very helpful, since you don't have to use a ton of different color pencils on the same little area to create depth. Also, let's try this blender pencil. On its own, it looks a little grayish on the paper. Oh, it kind of smudges it out a bit. Well, that is interesting. Maybe I can use that for something. Also, let's just see how the colors blend together. Yeah, kind of a decent blend. All right, enough playing around. Let's make some art with these Tritone color pencils. 
Alright, so I needed a little bit of warm up, so I just jumped straight into it, sketching this lady here. She is a little squished, but who isn't? I tend to draw the nose pretty close to the eyes for some reason when I'm not using a reference, but it is okay, it is just a sketch. Also, I just love drawing hair like that, short and kind of mushroom shaped or maybe it is more like a triangle bell shaped is maybe the word i'm looking for anyway something i noticed pretty quickly is that these pencils they are a little thinner than other pencils i didn't really think of it at first but after using the regular graphite pencil for the sketch and then switching to the color pencils i immediately felt the difference it isn't that much thinner but it is enough for it to feel a little uncomfortable after a while you kind of squeeze the pencil a little harder than usual to get a good and steady grip and I definitely felt that in my hand after a while but I do actually think that having three different tones in one pencil, it is kind of clever. For the hair, I used the sunset color, which was red, pink, and yellow. And together, they created this warm, yellowish, red, orangey tone. I like to use a lot of different tones when working with color pencils to create depth and give more dimension to the color and to the object that I'm drawing. So instead of having to use three different pencils I just have to use one and I really like that I like anything that can save me time when drawing so yeah for my second first impression I am intrigued I might actually see a point to these tritone pencils and then moving on to the next piece, which I thought would be the grand finale, but oh no, it will not end with this one, but more about that later. So I got inspired by the tiger colored pencil to draw a tiger, and I wanted to do it in a more of a stylized rainbowy style, using a lot of colors so that I could really try out all the different pencils. So yeah, that is what I did. So you know I said in my last video, you, I think that there need to be a balance between good art and bad art. That is how it is for me anyway. I need to get the trash art out from my system every now and then. And it doesn't really have to be terribly bad art. It can just be art that I kind of enjoy, but it isn't really something that I'm super happy with or proud of. And since I've had a good art streak for a while now, it was finally time for the trash art which unfortunately happened to be this lovely little tiger. It actually started really well. I went in with greens, adding yellow and orange and red, and I really enjoyed the process. So I don't know what happened. Maybe I felt a little stressed. I know I felt impatient while drawing the stripes. It is hard to get deeper, darker contrast with these pencils, or with this set of pencils rather, because there are no darker colors included. So I thought I wanted to add some more contrast using a black color pencil for the stripes and it definitely helped a little but I still felt a little meh about it so I walked away from the art for a little while taking a break then I thought maybe I should just scrap it all and make something else but then looking at it again I thought hmm, it might work anyway and then I worked on it for a little more and so I kept doing going back and forth taking a break drawing a little until it was finished so yeah we definitely have a love-hate relationship me and this tiger. So yeah, that is what an art session can look like for me and I'm pretty sure that there are more people out there going through the same thing from time to time. Some days you just don't feel the art or the motif that you're drawing and maybe I wasn't really feeling like drawing a tiger this day or maybe I didn't like the rainbow coloring, maybe I didn't like the art medium itself or maybe I was just being stressed in general and my mind where at somewhere else. There are so many different things that can affect how your art turns out and honestly looking at this little tiger right now a few days after I finished it 
I don't hate it. It is actually pretty neat. I can see that it is a bit sloppy because I rushed through the last bit just to get it done, but I don't think it looks bad or anything. I think it was more a feeling I had while I was drawing it. But yeah, it is funny. As I mentioned, it is not my first time using these pencils. I got them from a sketchbox back in 2016 and I looked up the video where I was using them and apparently I drew a very colorful wolf. So these pencils are definitely very inviting to create rainbow animals with. So let's get into the final art. I thought the tiger would be the final one, but I didn't want to end it with something I felt unhappy with at that time. So I'm drawing this boy, he's looking a little concerned, don't ask me why, I'm just happy I drew some kind of face expression. Maybe he's worried about the mushroom growing out of his head, that is something I could worry about at least. And I just went back to drawing a human again, I had so much fun with the first sketch and after that tiger drama I just went back to human and I really enjoyed working on this piece. So yeah, let's talk a little about these color pencils, now after trying them out properly for three different art pieces. So as I mentioned before, I think it is really great to have three different but similar tones in the same pencil, like the red mixed with pink and yellow, or having three different tones of greens, blues or yellows. I think that is very helpful to create deeper, richer tones with less pencils. I do think though that the pencils with more random colors in them, like the one with blue, gray and red, it feels a little more gimmicky to me. I am sure they are perfect to draw specific things with, and when using a blender pencil on it, it smoothens out the colors and mixes them, but then I would much rather use color pencils in different colors and blend them together manually, so to speak. However, the randomly mixed colors together, they do create a very nice effect though. The color pencils themselves have a bit of a dry feeling to them, which I'm not sure if I like or not. They are definitely not creamy or soft like Prismacolors, they are a little more like Polychromos, not as smooth though, but they worked great to blend and I didn't have that much trouble to mix the colors and the colors are rich and vibrant, especially when using the blender pencil on top of them, the colors really pop. And and as I mentioned, the pencil itself, it is a little thinner than usual and you can definitely feel that when drawing. I could also sharpen them without any problem, no broken nibs or anything. So yeah, I actually really enjoyed working with these color pencils for the most part. They may seem a little gimmicky, but I can also definitely see the benefits of having a multicolored pencil. If the colors are similar in tones, it will save you a lot of time from blending and layering. What I also like about these color pencils is that the art kind of automatically turns out very bright and colorful without putting almost any effort into it at all. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. I really like testing out different supplies, so let me know if there is any art products or supplies that you would like me to try out in a future video. Also, let me know which one of these three pieces that you like the most. Thank you so much for watching, don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, and I hope I will see you next time. Keep drawing my happy cats, bye!